Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Chris's Cool Stuff and Other Neat Things. I am Chris and what I have for you today is a little bit of a artistic tech review. So I am a little bit new to drawing with a stylus uh, on a screen. Uh, I do have a Huion uh, pen display, but I don't use it that often because in order to use it, I really have to devote time sitting here in front of the computer. So due to the unfortunate passing of one of my closest friends, I was left his Apple iPad. So I'm just starting to get used to doing digital drawings and paintings on a tablet. Now it is fifth generation iPad, so it is too old to use the Apple Pencil. So I was looking for other methods of using a uh, stylus with it. The stylus I have currently is one of these guys here that if, if you can see it, it's got those little, the little disc on the tip of the stylus. Uh, it works pretty well, um, but it's, it's still, the, the, having the stylus at the end, um, you know, it kind of gives me the perception that it, the, the tip is a lot thicker than it actually is. And um, sometimes can make the, the drawing a little bit awkward. I do watch a lot of art related videos on YouTube and just the other day a video popped up on my feed that was reviewing a fine tip stylus for non iPad Pro devices uh, or even older iPads before they were able to use that Apple Pencil. I went to Amazon, I picked one of those styluses up right away and we're going to go ahead and do a review. Alright so first off we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing. So the stylus comes in this white box because he just says stylus pen super fine nib active capacitive uh, what you do is you just slide the tray out exposing the contents pop that back there so we have a package inside this um, this card uh, essentially giving you the information about uh, customer support uh, happy on this side unhappy on this side I'm going to put that aside. Uh, next off, we have this little case for your pen or stylus. We have a drawing glove. Uh, it, it's great that this came with one because I do have a glove that came with my pen display and it is starting to fall apart, so I wasn't need of one of these. Uh, people say that these gloves are to help minimize friction between your hand and the screen. But also, for me, I find them very important because uh, in the event that you don't have a higher quality stylus that has palm rejection, uh, these help keep your palm from touching the screen and screwing up your drawing. Uh, next we have the user manual. Uh, we have the charging cable, so USB, USB C, and here is the stylus. So the back, which is one of those more um, wide nibs, uh, that just pops off. It's held on magnetically. That pops off, and right there is the charging port. And right here is the power button. So all you gotta do is power this on and it's ready to work. It's not Bluetooth, so you don't need to pair it with your device. So the directions, you can tell that this was uh, definitely a Chinese product just based on uh, the way that the directions were written. Definitely not written by somebody whose first language was English. And we can go through some of the details here. Uh, first off, product features, stylish and minimalistic style, aluminum alloy and piano baking varnish, calm and luxurious, novel and durable. Number two, made of pure copper, fine nib, provides smooth and excellent writing feel, whose friendly interaction keeps away from scratches. Number three, it is compatible with 98% of capacitive touch screen devices on the market like smartphones, tablets, etc. Number four, product enables to be continuously used for up to five days 
under full charge and auto power off after 30 minutes without any use. Note, calculated in two, hour, two hours per day. Let's go ahead and flip this guy over. All right, so let's see what's going on. Uh, how to use. Please press the button directly on the top of the pen. The blue light will quickly turn on. The act active capacitive pen enters into a working mode. Oh, I'm sorry, not into a working mode, into the working mode. Uh, number two. Now you can use complete in operations like clicking, sliding, and etc. on the screen of phones, tablets, or laptops through the pen instead of finger. You can also use the pen to write, paint, and specific apps. When you press, I'm oh, sorry, number three, when you press the button again, the active capacitive pen enters into shutdown state. The pen will automatically enter shutdown state every 30 minutes during the use. So I'm guessing that means not during use, I'm saying if it's not used after 30 minutes, they'll shut down automatically. At least that's what I hope, because otherwise if it shuts down on you while you're using it, it's definitely not a very uh, advantageous aspect of this pen. Okay, so how to charge. You can charge a pen battery in three ways. Please use the standard USB to mini USB data cable to charge. Connect one end to the pen's USB interface and the other into the USB's interface of the tablet or computer. Please connect, oh, sorry, number two, please connect one end of the data cable to the pen and the other end to an SVDC power adapter. And number three, please connect one end of the data cable to the pen and the other to the SV power bank. Note at the bottom, during, <laughs> this is kind of got me here, during, not charging, but during charging, charging process, the red indicator is on, the charging times is one to two hours. When it is fully charged, the red indicator will auto off. So I do have it plugged in and charging right now. And uh, we'll have to say it says the red indicator is on. Right now the indicator is green. So I don't know what that actually means. It says it when it's, it's red when it's charging and it's off when it's done. Does green mean it's done, maybe? I don't know. Okay, so I just wanna apologize in advance. I really haven't quite figured out how I'm gonna get the camera set up when I'm filming me drawing. Right now, I'm gonna be dodging a tripod right here in front of me, so if I bump the camera, I definitely apologize. Uh, so here, I've already set, this is a Autodesk Sketchbook Pro. Uh, this is a free program uh, you can get online. I've already set my uh, color uh, to black and I selected a thicker line weight so hopefully you can see the image in the video. Let's go ahead and turn on our pen. There's a blue line. <clears throat> so I've already heard uh, on other reviews that there tends to be a lot of line jitter with this pen and you know what, they were not kidding. So let's go ahead and try to draw a diagonal line here. And you can see how wavy that is. And I don't have a hard edge of a ruler available. Let me see if I can find something here. There's a post-it note. So this is definitely a straight line here. And you can see how wavy that is. So initially I didn't think that was gonna to be too much of a big deal um, because Sketchbook has this line uh, prediction. So even though it's drawing wavy, the program recognizes that I'm trying to draw a straight line and it straightens it out. So that being said, let's see if we're able to do any nice artwork with this pen.
Okay, so you may notice that I am in different clothes. So this is, I think, two days after I started doing the review. But we've come down to it. Now it is the time for the moment of truth. Let's start off on a positive note. So we'll go through some of the pros on this pen. Uh, first off, it is inexpensive. I got mine for, I think, it was just like $20, $21 on Amazon. Uh, Amazon Prime got free shipping here in two days. So that was super cool. Um, the pen, I mean, it does feel solid. It's like, it feels nice in my hand. It's a nice solid pen. It doesn't feel like it's cheap or anything. And it came with that glove that I needed since my other one was ripping. So I wanna say that's pretty much all the pros I can come up with. Let's go ahead and we're gonna move, move on over to the cons. So as you may have guessed it from the video, I did kind of rage quit that picture I was working on. The line jitter was so bad that the predictive line functionality in Sketchbook was very little help. There were so many points in time where even Sketchbook had no idea what I was trying to do. Uh, had other instances where the line would be jotted as if the iPad or the pen thought I removed uh, the pen from the service and immediately went right back, so it's, it got all dotted. Um, so I ended up doing another picture offline. Um, and I gotta say, here it is, and I'll, I'll do a picture at the end of the video too so you can see exactly what it is. But I mean, it's not a super complicated drawing. It's just like a simple cartoony character, uh, basic colors. This should have been a quick sketch and even this was a struggle to get finished. Definitely way too much time put into this than need to be. And by the way, I said when I was reading in the instruction manual that it powers down after 30 minutes, I assumed that meant after 30 minutes of inactivity, but they were 100% true to their word. It powers off after 30 minutes. So there was numerous times when I was trying to do the drawing, then all of a sudden I lost all functionality and I couldn't remember, I had no idea why. I looked down at the pen and sure enough, power was off. No idea why they would want that to happen. Makes more sense to power down after inactivity, not during use. So at the end of the day, I can only come to one simple conclusion. This is not a pen for artists. There's no way you can do any quality work with this pen. Um, maybe it's good for students who need to take notes, um, but that's the only thing that I can see would be useful. Um, so if you are in the market for a stylus to use with your older tablets or, or phones for doing quick doodles or drawings, do not get this. You'll regret it every step of the way. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please let me know in the comment section down below. I do thank you for stopping by. Again, my name is Chris, and I'll see you in the next one.